I am aware of the hierarchy of Radio Dead Air. I know I fall under Grady, but so does everyone else. Yeah. That's, good with me. that's fine with me. It's his house. We just live here. I would also like to point out every time you're on stream with one Mr. Grady, I have to let Gretchen know instantly on here or on Twitch so she can stop what she can doing, rush to her computer and make sure she sees the floof in her own words. He's a good boy. He is. When, you're, when you have a good pet, it really does make a difference. The other one is good, too, just in her own way. She's, and she's currently running up and down the hall for no Nine. damn reason. She's eh. weird. You could be weird and not be a problem. I, I guess that's fine. That's fine. Also, um, two things. One, I like that you started off with the Mars Volta just before we got in. That was a nice little treat. But then you started talking about how all the weird stuff you're about to have tonight for this show. And I'm like, oh. So now I don't know what to feel. Well, th this week is, is not, well, it's, you'll see. Oh, oh. There's a little bit of back and forth here. Um, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm out of your friends, this is uh, Luke from uh, Rocked. Uh, he does all sorts of musical kind of stuff on the YouTubes and such, and he has been gracious enough to help us out tonight because Tara is, <laughs> Tara at the last minute, like literally, like literally, Luke is filling it at the last minute because Tara had to go on a uh, a team building exercise. Her work. Tara shows a lot of restraint <laughs> by not choking anyone that asked her to do that because I don't know how I would feel my last job if they asked me to do that. Like like team building exercises. I anyone who's ever worked in an office who's watching this right now, your 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 aim is just puckered uh, from that. It's uh, like, uh, yeah, I, I worked at a hospital. I have like in nine years of healthcare IT career, you know, before doing all this stuff. Even they tried to have us do stuff like that. It I would rather go back to the dentist, pull a tooth, no anesthetic than any of that, any of it. Like it's 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 a scam. It's so they, they go to yeah. management. And they're like, oh, you'll get your synergy and team and and output and mm -hmm. business words and they're like oh that sounds good and the management can then go what we tried to make them work together better we are invested in their teamwork and stuff here's our proof so, it's like it's almost like a lot like just like going like in any event thank thank you for at the very last minute being gracious enough to step in we appreciate it. i know you're super busy you're like you're still you've prepared for moving and oh i'm way past preparing it's just living my life right that right now oh, no. everything else my house is just empty no books on the shelves no anything else oh i'm getting ready <laughs> wait the hold on the door wait a minute did you paint yes. that yes my sister did that she does that for stuff like that that's just like right outside to the garage oh and and so that way when i'm about to move we kept the black paint so it's going to paint the red spots black when i move so that way it's just a black door but so it's a red door. No, no, it's a white door. They have red paint too. But it was a solid this, white door. It's you see the red and you want to paint it black. Because um my fam realtor in the family said it'll be weird for people to come in and see that. But if they see just so, solid black, they'll be fine with it. So so no colors anymore. You Correct. Just Once I leave paint no it color, black. It's, right. Correct. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Easier than getting the actual paint. And painting over it again. I could do that, but I'm just checking here to see if the Rolling Stones references are just racing past your head. There, paint it black. I get it. <laughs> I'm still thinking about just what I need to do. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you for taking time to be here this this week. Um, and I'm sorry. Absolutely. Well, I'm not sorry about. I don't. I don't like the the. It doesn't count if you apologize before something. By the way, that's not how it works. Well, you know, I'm I'm, so, I'm sorry, stab. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, it, it, it's it's efficient to get the apology out of the way first. <laughs> Ugh, I don't think that holds up in court. Intro going <laughs> each week. <laughs> Catherine, Radio Dead Air, let's go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for the segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong. You know? This is this is one of those that we, we, we tend to call this the Natch signal because certain stories show up and everybody immediately sends me the story. And this one was just 
in its own weird way, a little bit precious, which is a, we got video. Oh. Um, let's, uh, let me send this over to you. Yes. I know I've popped out the, stop it. Go away. Yes. I know the players, I need to send him the message. There you go. Paste that. There we go. Got it. Uh, let's get the video up here because I did see you tagged on this on Twitter. Of course, I did not go into the article, but I did see what was going on. See, this is a semi that over here. Here is the uh, the the uh, the video here. Now, the precious part is watch very closely because at first you have this this traffic helicopter. There's an mm -hmm. accident on the highway, and the traffic helicopter is doing his normal patter. But then. And I want to point out, he says, before we get even zooming in, he says, they lost their load. Well, as we get a little bit closer, one of the anchors in the studio says, Jim, can you tell what, he, what, what, what he's carrying there? And they start zooming in a little bit. Not, not really sure. A little bit further. Come on. You can do it. Poor Jim Gardner up there in the chopper. Um... There's a, whatever it is, there's a lot of it, huh? And you zoom in, a, and this is the point where he starts to realize what the packages are. Oh, there's some packages down there, all um, right. The, the, <laughs> if you zoom in, the, the aerial camera panned across the inventory, a bunch of dildos, vibrators, and lube bottles. Maybe you can tell. I can't tell. There's a lot of stuff laying on the road, whatever it is. And it's going to take a while to clean up. This poor bastard was live on the air and had to realize that, oh my. It's no, by no means that reporter's fault, the helicopter or any field reporter. You will never live it down, though. Never. This will be your identifying piece of your career. You're doomed. Doom. There were nothing so, else matters. There were so many yeah. jokes on this one. Like everybody in traffic right now is is just fucked. Um, no. There's people. There's there's people pulling U turns with screeching halt on the highway. <laughs> Gotta find it. <laughs> like yeah, the, the the the. All right. I don't know how. Have you ever done like long highway travel? Oh yeah. You know, every once in a while, you'll look over and you'll see a great big fucking sign for. Adult books, Oops. adult sex shop, adult super mega store. I live in Missouri between St. Louis and Kansas City. There is literally nothing but highway and billboards. And I promise you the one type of stop there is for four hours between KC and St. Louis. Sex stops. And that's it. And, and this this was literally what was happening was they were turning off the highway to go to one of those places to resupply right, yeah. them. And you have to, I mean, like, you have to just respect how much volume in they must do in business. Oh, yeah. That is a full semi. Yeah. Think how much you can cram into that. There's another one. You know? I mean, just. Well, there's so... a lot of lube, so it's probably easy. <laughs> oh, do they lube the truck up to get all the other sex toys in there before? <laughs> and that's like a good endorsement. Also, man, the supply chain was starting to pick up a little bit, and something like this happens. That poor store can't catch a break. <laughs> this is like man. when that boat gets stuck in the so in, in the Suarez Canal, except oh, uh, with dildos. You, I, I, I really also know, like the cop, the first cop that get there, like the first two cops in the same car. It was that one cop's first day, first day right out of the academy. You know it and he's the one that had head detail picking everyone one by up while the other cop <sighs> just sat back and laughed and laughed well you know <sighs> you mentioned it was that cop's first day <gasps> i didn't make any segue to lead into something worse no that is not what i did <laughs> this, next, this next one comes from texas and uh, i did not segue to texas <laughs> This this should just the faith you would have in law enforcement after reading. You kind of think even if they're assholes, they must be at least a little bit competent, right? A little bit, even if they're racist you, or violent, they must be a little bit. You would think there has to be some bar they have to cross to get to that position. Yes. Well, apparently not. Harris County Sheriff's Dep Office deputy gets sick 
after taking drugs, he mistook for candy. Are you a toddler, sir? Did you get your little spirit Halloween cop badge as a toddler and put that on? It's ah. it's worse. The drugs what did were, he take? The drugs were Ugh. recovered Tuesday at an apartment. Around lunchtime, a resident called the sheriff's office for help when he thought someone had broken in. A safety sweep yielded no intruder and said drugs were found, large bags of marijuana, boxes of edibles and mushrooms. One of I those boxes was left unattended. The drugs were colorful in nature and is divided into clear plastic baggies and packaged in a box. They were recovered at a crime scene. So he wandered into a crime scene, saw what he thought was candy, and ate hey, it. Put it. Ooh, it's shiny and colorful. Let's put it in my mouth. <sighs> is it this grown up? Is the guy that they still has to put the little yuck stickers on the poison and stuff under the sink I because he will try to drink it. Oh my god, I remember the yuck stickers. That th this guy oh still god. has to have a fresh batch because this is him right there. <laughs> I mistook it for candy, but it's still it's not like sealed candy. Ooh, random laying on the ground candy or on the desk candy. Up for grabs. People in the channel are going, real life Ralph Wakeham. Yes, Jossie. Yes. That's Oh yeah. 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 He he followed in his dad's footsteps. And <laughs> man. I, I he's a it's great that he didn't die. I mean, if he would have taken one little bit of the wrong thing, yeah, he could have died, like depending on what it was. The, who at a crime scene. There's a reason <laughs> it's a crime scene. I, I just hope like they had like the hokey music playing when he walked in. He just is like he did the whole look like mm? Mm? <laughs> this is trying to be inconspicuous. This Ugh. is this is a dude who walks around in real life and there's like Hanna Barbera sound effects yeah, follow him yeah, around. Exactly. Like, doo, 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 doo. That's what yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's probably what he hears in his head all day, too. That's it. I what do you even say like for the guys that had to like take him to the EMT? Because I'm sure they had to process stuff like that. How do you fill that out? What would you What would you do? Uh, by the way, EMTs sometimes hate cops working in healthcare. I found that out. Uh, EMTs and hospitals. Man, oh man, that does not give them any more credence. And you've Ugh. you've seen Super Troopers, right? Oh yeah. This is far from. This is fucking far from. <laughs> it, it's it's this is like they will literally, quite literally, anyone can get a gun and a badge. Anyone. Yes. And he's the one daring other cops to eat it, too, probably. He's like, fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, it also makes you think, what else has this cop eaten that he did get away with that did not get reported? Because, you know, this was not his first time. Like at a murder uh, scene, uh, he's like, ooh, candy. Ooh, cherry syrup. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't feel so good, boss. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh, powdered sugar. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Every just every month, every month he's on assignment. It's just something new, a new. Uh, he's like a puppy. I love. I also, not as cute. I love how they don't name the dude. They name everybody else except the dude who wandered into the crime scene and just put things in his mouth. <sighs> uh, I'm sure it's gotten enough by now in that little town. In Texas, I don't know if it's a little or big town. Harris County, I don't know which county that is. I'm sure it's well known enough at this point. The damage is done. Uh, oh, uh, we've got more. We got really stupid crime. This is from Tennessee. But, but you would think one of the basics of fencing stolen goods is to get some distance from where you stole the goods, right? Yeah. Well, this, this guy didn't go to another town. He didn't go to another county. He didn't even go to another street. Oh. Where's, where, uh, where is it? There is it. Come on. Come on. Clicking the wrong things. And, oh, bless him. The, 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 the fucking uh, mugshot on this one. No, no. Ooh. He stole from the Walmart. And sold them right in the Walmart parking lot. 
wow, Walmart's return policy really is that lax. Yowza. <laughs> and in Tennessee is accused of stealing TVs from Walmart and selling them in the parking lot of the store. TVs? Officer responded to a Walmart in Knoxville around 9 p.m. Saturday, found Donald Kirkland in possession of stolen items. Kirkland told officers he'd stolen three TVs, a karaoke, karaoke machine, machine, and camping equipment from the retail store and was selling them in the parking lot. Walmart manager corroborated the story, telling officers he saw Kirkland loading one of the TVs into a cart in a store. It was charged with theft of merchandise. Like, it, it's, the sa- yes, the same parking lot. Well, What's the symbol? Is, line- it's either a five or an S. I can't tell what that symbol is. It looks like an S to me. However, his tattoos are because there's also a music note right below his lip. Yeah. These tattoos look like they were made with a bad magic marker. Mm. And he has not showered in a month, and that's why they're faded. He looks really surprised. There's a deer in the he does look, He's like, I can't believe it didn't work. <laughs> How did they figure it out? Also, I like to imagine um, he had like a little table right next to the Girl Scouts outside of Walmart. <laughs> And that's how he was selling stuff. I, I just, I don't, this looks like the guy that would try that too. Cause you know, if it's, if it's me, when I go to Walmart, I look for the deals in the parking lot. Exactly. I don't want it to go in the, in the store. The real savings are back behind the park, like back behind the dumpster. Yeah. I'm like, are, are you exactly. kidding me? It's huge in there. It's a lot of walking. Just stay outside. And also, they only have two lanes open at all times. Yeah. Come on. That's a pain. This guy's ready to go. I, I, I wonder if someone actually bought something. From him. I'm wondering the same thing, because if they said he had three TVs, a karaoke machine, and camping equipment, which also makes it feel like it was just, he just went in and did like a mad grab. It's like, I'll take this. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, this is enough to sell for my stop today. I can just imagine the loss oh. prevention guy just sitting there going, he's not going oh, okay. anywhere. He's just... He hasn't left. No, he's still there. Yeah. He technically hasn't stolen it yet because it's still on our property <laughs> and he's not moving it anymore. I, I legally cannot do anything yet. <laughs> Ugh. It's like the, the basics of the one of the basic shit of crime is the getaway. It's called that for a reason. You get away. <laughs> He would have had better success at just walking that over to customer relations and claiming he already bought it and try to get a refund on it for cash. You know why? They take back anything. They do. They it's 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 Walmart is like so super permissive. They would have even given him store credit. And so he would have gone in, returned the oh, yeah. TV for store credit, and then actually gotten the TV, taken it outside, and then sold it. And that would have worked for the amount of the TV buys that TV and sells it. And then it's nice and legal. He was just missing the two steps. The two questions, he had this like, get stuff from Walmart, question mark, question mark, profit. That was the question marks. He just missed them. (sighs) Man, we could have really helped this man. He could have been the real connoisseur and entrepreneur to that day, but man, he didn't didn't address us. That's a shame. Well, let's move on along. (laughs) Oh, uh we, you and me both, we've had to deal with a long distance relationship. It is a pain in the ass. Sure is. And the, you, it is expensive and you have to make mm-hmm. plans and it's just giant pain. So I can appreciate go, the lengths this kid went to, to deal with it. However, I'm, I, I appreciate the links. I'm just not appreciating the method. Um, okay. <laughs> Teenager arrested for stealing bus to see girlfriend. Oh, this is a 90s rom teen comedy right here. Romantic teen comedy for 90s it kids. Kind of. Definitely. Yeah. Teenager who had stolen a bus from the Piliandala uh, bus depot to see his lover has been arrested by the police. The suspect has been identified as a 15 year old resident of the Sita Mula area in Matagoda. A uh, group of bus drivers operating. Uh, from the bus depot, arrived at the depot to watch the finals of the Asia Cup 2022 last night. Man. The group had parked their buses at the bus depot and left to purchase food and watch the cricket match. Upon returning, one driver realized that his bus was missing. Upon launching the investigation, officers uh, at the check... um, 
Officer at the checkpoint uh, just noticed a, uh, the bus and ordered it to stop. Suspect has been, ar- been arrested and attempted to abandon the vehicle and flee. During interrogation, the teenager re- revealed he had been apprehended by the police while returning after seeing his girlfriend. So, there, here's the good thing. He pulled it off. Yeah. They caught him after. So, right. good I on stand you. By, I stand by. This one article from Newswire is enough for people at Netflix to, like, green light a direct to Netflix movie. That's all. This is all they need. Like That's the, it. They're making one about the cocaine bear. Yeah. Why not this, this at kid? Least, this at least is a little more charming than cocaine bear. I know everyone loves bears, but this is a lot less cocaine. Living Corp so. says she told him her parents were not home. Okay, yeah, that kind of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Mean Shell says, can't you Uber like a normal person? No. <laughs> no. That costs money. <laughs> <laughs> His ass was, look, you broke, you're horny, you do what you gotta do. <laughs> It's true. My mom took away my phone, and this is it. This is my only shot. <laughs> oh. 15, though. That's Fifth, some hustle. Uh, yeah. That's so I, I, fucking... was gonna, I was thinking the same thing. Freshman in high school, sophomore in high school, and he's pulling that kind of tight stunt. That's pretty brave. He's at, you know, at this point, he's actually kind of... When he pulled up to his girlfriend's house in a city in bus... bus. Her, her. This, this kid's kind of a legend at this point. Yeah. I don't know. And then he gets to take the girl like a nice little bus tour around town. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be like mad at this kid, but just like, you know yeah. what? He- <laughs> I, I got to feel like even the cops will be like, okay, like we can't cuff the kid. We're too uh, impressed. What do you want us to do? Oh, well, what's this? What's this? Oh, well, someone told me to read the second to last line. Um, Further investigation revealed this teenager had stolen a bus to see his girlfriend on a previous occasion as well. And this is his second time. And it works also. (laughs) I love this kid. I love him. Um, Oh, my God. he He clearly has proven the system works that he has. So what do you want, cops? He also has established he's got work experience because if he ever goes in for a job, Driving a bus. Do you have any experience? Why, yes, I do. Yeah. Yeah. These are the vehicles I've driven. <laughs> and he has a picture of him with the in the in the bus. <laughs> hey, wait, that's our bus. What the heck? <laughs> uh, they, 15. And he already has racked up experience doing this, by the way. <laughs> I love this kid. I fucking love him. And, like does he get like the itchy fingers and starts to sweat every time he sees a bus with the keys in the ignition like the old classic tv shows it's like oh man i could see her in 30 minutes if i push right now i could do it i could do it i could do it and then he just goes man this might be a series now at this point this may not be just a movie but this might be a full-blown episodic series oh this fucking kid Chat room, you're going to have to think of a title for this, but for the series for this kid, but there's got to be something out there. There has to be. Because this. (laughs) This makes me think of the Six Flags old man. (laughs) Oh, the old guy, the prosthetics. (laughs) He gets out of that. That's the music that he plays when he starts like driving down the highway to pull speed (laughs) and like the chase. Oh. oh, all right. Uh, I can't like I don't I can't be mad at him, even though I know he did wrong. But I'm also mad at like the system, because if this is the second time it's happened to your bus system and he, the, it's the same kid, you know, it's going to happen the third time now, too. Who's going to stop him? He knows he can do it. All right. Well, we go from this one, which is a little bit heartwarming in a weird ass way to this one. This one's just going to piss you off. This one pissed me off. Can we, have, can we just have this heartwarming story be the end? No, no. No, no. Oh, this one. Th- not only what he did, but just how fucking incompetent about. I there's something about this doing this all these years. Nothing irritates me more than when when the, these motherfuckers have the audacity to be incompetent about it. And this mm-hmm. one, man sent to prison after faking injuries to get two hundred and sixty five thousand dollars in U.S. Veterans Affair benefits. Go screw yourself, you and your family. I don't care. Everyone around you that you ever know, go screw them too. You, uh, uh, uh. Military veteran came. He lost the use of his legs and left hand to obtain benefits from the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. 
and sentenced to five years in prison on fraud charges. The government said that Joseph Gray, 53, of Lawton, was seen walking, even carrying a heavy bag of cat food on his shoulder and using his left hand. I, I, where's the, 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 the bit here? Um, see, this is funny. On October 26, 2017, Gray showed up in a wheelchair for an examination at the Battle Creek, Virginia Medical Center. That's not far from y'all. Are we're going to be, uh, the government right, said, yeah. uh, he said he had not walked in 10 years and could not use his left hand, but he was seen minutes later walking into a restaurant and holding leftover in his left hand on the way out. That's because investigators had followed it. He literally went from the VA to a restaurant. And then got cat food. It, uh, how fucking stupid do you have to lay low? You, if you were that, if you were have like that devoted to a scam, can't walk, no left hand, would you be paranoid to death to be seen walking anywhere, period? Right, Not even yeah. alone the same day. I'd be terrified there'd be a camera somewhere that could catch me. You're not even make some fucking effort. He's skipping. He's skipping along out of the courthouse as soon as it's over. Da 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 da. Uh. I, I, I mean, this is jail time if he pulls that too, because I know the VA stuff. When you try to mess with that for fraud, no, they don't put lightly on that. That's, that's a, jail time. That's a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, and his wife's in trouble too because she said, "Oh, I have to stay home and take care of him." She backed. They're both fucked. Yeah. Yeah. But again, like that's not a one person thing too. If it goes for that long and stuff, that's why I'm saying no. People around you, too, they're, they're screwed over. It's bad. When you claim for veteran affairs or military stuff or any type of repayment and it's fraud, it's way worse than you just frauding some random company or trying to do a jewelry store heist or something. No, you're done. You are done. Ugh. Yeah, and Living Corp says they will follow you for months just to make sure you're not faking it. I'm not joking. Yeah, they. It, it, it's been like that since probably before we were all born, too. This is not a new thing. How I, I don't get it. How do you go that cluelessly going, well, all right, my 10 o'clock's done. Now I can do whatever. Like, it's just a bit like he could just like sign off and have pretend hours. And what's what's really <laughs> what pisses me off more than anything else is because this guy did this. It means the people who actually are the disabled quarter. and need they're going to get more scrutiny because of this motherfucker. Yeah, absolutely. And the money that could have gone that was spent all this and the investigation and all this mm -hmm. that for how could have helped a lot of veterans real quick. It's, it, it infuriates me that he's so bad at it. Yeah. Like we've, we have, it's not, you just, uh, we've seen so many movies where people pulled off stunts like this because do you think the, that's part of it. Why like it emboldens them. It's like, I could do like that. Yeah, but they half ass it. Like, I, this isn't even half ass. This was quarter no, ass. No, it's not. Yeah. No legs and one arm. It's, uh, you know, I, it's, uh, <sighs> awful. I, I, I don't even know what you'd say at the defense attorney either. It's like, uh, your honor, um, I have to be here. So I'll take this loss and you just yell at him for a half hour. I don't care anymore. Like, he's like, yeah, I, I got nothing. Um, yeah. he, he, your honor, my, my client's an imbecile. Yeah. He's, he's going to plead. We're, we're pleading idiot is what we're, we're pleading. Stupid. Your honor. Can I please sit one over with the prosecutors? I know I'm still defending him, but I just don't want to be near this guy, please. Oh, okay. Uh, <sighs> you mother, just the so, fucking audacity of this motherfucker. Uh -huh. Well, we got one more audacious. Like I, I have always wanted since ever since I was a little kid, I had this idea. That flying a plane was 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 as a complicated thing, and you had to be really smart to figure out how to do it. I thought the same and, thing growing up too. And then, and then sh I I start I come to 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 find shit like this. This guy, for and I want to stress, we tend on the show. I do my best not to do do stories where people get other people hurt. So nobody got hurt on this one. Amazing! You were so fucking lucky. You fucking asshole. 
the the he- even the headline is like he's an idiot. Good. Pilot seen flying at boats at Horsetooth Reservoir before crash. Pilot was being described as reckless and careless by aviation professionals. Reckless and careless is such an un, un like a low description of that. That's he's not swerving onto the oncoming lane and a street. After crashing their aircraft shortly after flying erratically around the reservoir, um, one photographer, Stephanie Stamos, said she witnessed the erratic flying while trying to photograph her client's senior photo who set the picturesque reservoir. Oh, oh that, was that poor kid. And there's some of the pictures of it right there. That's the big one. That's that's the, the uh, yeah, that picture fucking buzz them within feet of actually coming into contact with the plane the images you can see the pilot seemingly target at least boats that were on the water the plane swoops down right toward a boat and comes within feet of hitting it before banking to the right to buzz past another pontoon boat so this motherfucker was just flying around the lake or the reservoir fucking with people driving their boat like what were you trying to do make somebody capsize or some shit even in like even in GTA 5, you have trouble doing that. Yeah. This guy's trying to do it for real. And then, also, I know also I know this is not a poop story. I'm willing to bet there was some poop unfortunately yeah. dropped. I don't think I could have held it in without with a plane coming that close to me on a boat. No shame. Ugh. Wait, have you ever stood next to a a plane on the even on the ground? On the ground, on. yeah, LAX, yeah, LAX, because like they have the planes right on the same roads as the buses and stuff. They're it's so terrifying. So it's God terrifying. Damn, yes, it's it's freaky too because you see how massive they are, and they just like coast right by you. Like, oh my gosh! Even a prop oh. plane, a prop plane is like, oh yeah, you can't. You know, like, you see those motherfuckers out there with the headphones on. There's a reason for it. Yeah. I, and, and boats are loud too by the way let's get that straight also the plane dwarfs the boat by a long shot of noise uh, so what what was the point because you thought it was funny this, this was this was a dickhead this was an absolute so apparently you can be a stupid motherfucker and learn how to fly well apparently not very well because they crashed it uh, with a passenger they're both fine they have minor injuries they walked away they walked and, and they're the, the what was the sheriff called it a fucking miracle not a fucking miracle. the fact that yeah the fact miracle. the fact that not one person died in something like that and all those almost hit and run attempts hidden well, boat attempts flight whatever it is is that is a miracle Jeez. shadow rush uh says was it a seaplane at least no those are wheels no oh. Th- those are those are wheels so no this- if it was a seaplane i at least get why it would be on the body of water but it still <laughs> would make an excuse for Trying to clip a boat and freak out the the boat goers. Ugh. I, I'm still trying to figure out why would you think that would be fun? You and your buddy think that's cool. <laughs> I th- they don't say it, but I I I did I could never conceive of the idea of drunk flying, but my gut is saying somebody went up into into the air with a full cooler. That's what I'm thinking happened. They had the flask on them, just like, okay, I'm in the air, autopilot on, and start drinking. Class, the kind of person like this isn't having a class to have a flask. They just got a pile of cores in the back seat. Oh, that, that, very fair, very fair. They have the wine coolers in the packs, just like stuffed yeah. down their pants. Yeah, yeah, I guess a flask would be too classy. I, what do you say after that, too? I know they hauled them off, to, they had to have hauled them off to jail, but. Even so, I'm just thinking of how do you get to that logic in the first place to get up in the air and then try to do that? I, I don't know. How, does anyone in the channel know how much a Cessna costs? Because holy shit, that's, you've just, a lot. that's a, the money go bye bye Yeah, also, like, wouldn't you just be worried about messing up your own plane, even selfishly? Like for selfish reasons, like what would you want to risk that? Right. If he had clipped that plane, if 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 if, if he had actually actually clipped that boat, yeah. What if his landing gear would be fucked? Yeah, instant. And you're not that, you're not coming down that way. Well, yeah. you're coming down, but not the fun way. Oh yeah. Especially since you're already that low to the water, you're done. It's it'd be like less than five seconds. You're on the water. And I don't think those boat goers are going to try to help you get out either. 
I wouldn't. Not at that point. Google says around two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. Fuck, you idiot! And you play it. You play around with it like a remote control toy, like a remote control plane. Well, on, on the good news is, it fucking crashed it. So yay! Yeah, you no, don't get they to don't do that no to more. It. Yeah, someone had to take your toy away. So I get uh, the, the what we learned this week. We learned that uh, it, flying apparently is something so easy an imbecile can do it. Yes. Um, uh, 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 we have learned uh, that maybe if you're going to try to perpetuate a fraud, try commit a little like it, even fucking Jared Leto gets into a role better than this. Jesus Christ. Wow. He at least put the makeup on. You didn't even like you didn't even like try to stay in the chair. We've learned that uh, you, you got to watch. This is a weird you've got to watch your kid story, but that kid is a hero. That kid, I, I learned there's a pretty cool kid out there that's yeah. going to be something someday. You know, that kid actually is going to be something special someday. He's going to be a president of something. Oh, hey, I'd buddy. vote for him. Over other, I'd vote for him. Other other people. Yes, Grady sir. would, too. What you doing? Boy? Grady. Grady approves of that kid, too. Let's be honest. That is the feel good story of the summer. Come on. Hi, buddy. He's yelling. I don't know. Why, why are you yelling? I'm right here. Grady, are you going to join that bus drive? <laughs> we've learned that just because you actually make it to the police academy does not mean you should have they're gonna have new courses at the police academy now too don't eat anything don't don't you, crime scene. don't they you have put to it in your mouth they don't, for everything they have to now they totally have to we've learned that if you are going to attempt to crime maybe complete the getaway portion yeah, before you 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 fit. Isn't that right? Le yes. Yeah, the exit plan is a part of the plan. It still is. And finally, we first. <laughs> if you are in the traffic copter, and you're uh, you, you, the people back in the studio are setting you up, don't fall for it. No, don't. Because this this poor guy. <laughs> what what's his name? Uh, this is uh Jim. Yeah, Jim Gardner, you're, you're he's the dildo guy from now on. Yeah, that, you're the dildo gardener now. You, I, I don't know what else to call you. And, and that sucks. It is not your fault, sir. You did nothing wrong, but your career yet, is now doomed. Yeah, you pay for that. And yet. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, how you doing, boy? Grady, I'm going to let you, I'm just going to let you try to prove there's some humanity left in the world even though you are a feline because i take you over some of these humans i mean he's barely a, he's barely a cat he's like if cornstarch had fur 